Welcome. Today's session is going to be about creating and managing proxies in CatDV. So the first thing we want to look at is when we look at CatDV's user interface, we see that we've got thumbnails, which represents the thumbnails in CatDV. We've got a movie tab, which represents the high-res footage or the original footage in CatDV. And then we have a proxy tab, which may or may not be highlighted based on whether there's a proxy made or not. In this particular case, this asset has a proxy. If I click on this asset down here below, this actually P2MXF file, we can see that we've got our thumbnails just like normal. And all assets, unless you turn off thumbnail generation, are going to have thumbnails. My movie, which is actually an original P2 AVC intro file, again, looks pretty good. And then I have no proxy. So we can see that this proxy is grayed out. There's lots of ways to make proxies in CatDV. We can use the rich client, which is this piece of software here. We can use the worker node, or even potentially automate this process with third-party transcoders like Episode Engine. In the case of this CatDV client, I simply select the asset I want to make a proxy of and click on Build Proxy Movies. And it's going to go ahead and actually make a proxy of this movie. I've predetermined this to be a specific codec and also burn in timecode. Simply click away, click back on the asset, and we can see now the proxy tab has been highlighted for this asset. I click on it and we can see my burned in file name and my burned in time code, and I can play my asset right here in CatDV. What's important about this is that these proxy files become available on the web. So if I go to CatDV's web client now, log in, go into the same test catalog, test project, and we'll see that the assets that I've created proxies for are going to be playable in the web client. If there's no proxy, then they're not going to be playable. So for example, if I click on this um, Magnificent Destinations, we can see the play button does not pop up, and this is not really playable. But if I click on Collins Street, suddenly this play button appears in the web client. And if I click on this, I'm going to be able to play the proxy here in the web client. So now we're going to make a proxy with the worker node. So I've created a status that is very simple. I simply select an asset that I want to make a proxy of. I mark this status field with make proxy. Command S saves to server. As soon as I save this to the server, the worker node application is going to pick this up and actually make a proxy of this file. Wow, it already completed. And now I've got this asset with a proxy file. And we're going to see the time, the, the burned in file name and time code right there. And of course, if I go to the web client and click on this asset, there's my proxy. I think the best way to pick it up is experience. So that's a very brief demonstration of how easy it is to make proxies in CatDV. When we talk about managing proxies, I just need to show you a couple of simple things. CatDV uses media search paths. In the preferences, we can see that I have a very simple directory for my proxies. When we talk about creating proxies in the web client, the settings are very simple. In the CatDV control panel under server config, we can see that I have proxy paths in here defined for where CatDV is going to look for a proxy. These proxies are going to preserve the entire path from root. So be sure to have your, your files and folders well organized before you start the proxy process. Thanks for joining us on this demo, and be sure to check us out at jbna.com.